Let's see. I'm excited, bro. And the salt water is pumping out. As you can see, full to the brim of salt water. Barb is pinched down. And now our rig is officially ready to go. I think I'm ready to go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. What is going on, Kfaros? Welcome back to another video. King is in the spotlight today. We're here in the backyard, of course, feeding all the goats. What's up, Lady May? Big girl. Hey. Look at all the pigs. They're like, what are you doing over there? You guys already all ate breakfast. It is uh, probably the nicest day I have ever felt out in Florida in my entire life. It's beautiful. It's the first video back after all the Amazon content, so I know you guys have been waiting to see the farm again and all the fish ponds and stuff. And today, well, it's, it's about all of that. We're back home, baby. We're at the PC farm, of course, and we've got a lot to get done today. In just a moment, we're gonna go inside the fish building and get started on that. I do wanna show you just how much these goats have used the house we built them. I mean, as you can see, it's very wear and tear type stuff. All the paint's gone. This is probably one of the coolest things we have ever built. Look how high I am up here. And that's not even the highest it goes. It keeps going. You can see everything from up here. Hi, Lilo. Good morning. Good, good, good. All right. I see how it is. Next time I got leftovers in the fridge, I know who to talk to. So all the animals are good. Everything's good around here at the PC farm. Although, I got a strike on my channel, dude. Can you believe that? Three of those and your channel gets terminated. What did you get a strike for? I got some copyright from years ago. I don't even know. Anyway, yeah, so if my channel just disappears, Caferos, it was it's a pleasure to know you. And I'm gonna make another one. <laughs> that probably won't happen, but I did get a strike and it's probably why my views just absolutely sliced in half. So if you're watching this video, YouTube happily recommended that to you and I appreciate you watching. Thank you. The pig in the background is the perfect time. <laughs> Inside these doors though, is of course the fish building where everything is. Fish ponds, fish tanks, you name it, it's in here. And today, I've got some news to share. Now a few things next to the saltwater pond before we get started is all of these lights. I mean, four Radeon XR30 Pros. Big shout out to Ecotech Marine for sending us four, four of these things for the pond. They saw the light up here and they laughed at me. They said, what are you doing? and then they just sent four. That, that's, that's literally exactly how it went. They want me to put them things on because they will help grow my coral that are gonna be going in here and that are already in here, the anemones. So eventually at some point, I'm gonna hang all four of those. I don't exactly know when, but that's coming. I also got this sign. I don't wanna show you the front of it because I have the unboxing footage. Let's see. I'm excited, bro. I have no idea what I'm about to expect here. I just cut a wire. <laughs> Dude. Really? Wow. Barrier reef corner. What? <laughs> that How is sick. baller is that, dude? <laughs> Marlon, you absolutely snapped. From where are we here? Obviously, probably in the back more, maybe in front of the skimmer or something. But this is the uh, barrier reef corner. And Marlon just named the corner for us. Ketchup and mustard. <laughs> Ketchup and mustard. <laughs> Slinging the slash slinging. <laughs> slash slinging slash. <laughs> so big shout out to Marlin. I mean that is awesome. And this is gonna go somewhere right above the pond. We'll find somewhere for it. And then I also got this fan. I decided I just wanted to show you guys. I got this fan. I, I got that on Amazon and maybe create some circular airflow in here. Anyway, that's yeah, that's the couple goodies we got. Now we can officially get into the video. The truck is here. It is officially time to do the first, very first water change on the saltwater pond. And as you know, we've got the way to do it now. Instead of unrolling like 300 feet of that hosing like we did prior, I had Hector put in two inch PVC all the way underground across the entire yard. And that's what that trench is right there. Before anything though, I got to put this down into the pond from over there, blasting into the water. I think it's gonna be a little too, a little too, you know what I'm saying? And the salt water is pumping out, as you can see. Now the salt water coming out right here and inside over there, that's where it's gonna be shooting back in. Oh, my grass is full of salt water. Will it die? Probably, but that's besides the fact. Our pond is more than halfway empty now. It's time to start filling, filling back up with that right there. I put a little L shaped bracket. And now it's time to fill up. So let's head over to the truck and tell them to start ripping it. And this right here is exactly where 
I got this little fitting that I shoved in there and glued. And then Charlie connects his half to it. And now it goes straight into here, underground, and all the way to the backyard. You can see the trench. We're rocking. As soon as they start to pump. Full to the brim of salt water. And there we go, fellas. Salt water is getting pumped to fill the pond for the very first water change. I'm doing about a 50% water change, half the water. And this is good too, because we're about to actually go get obviously the next thing of fish, which is all the tangs. That's gonna be awesome. And this water change is very important to do so. A frog came out of the pipe. Wow, he just went for a roller coaster of a ride. That's a really interesting looking frog. Actually, that's salt water. It's probably not too great on him, huh? Let's dip him in the fresh water. Oh, that probably feels better, huh? <laughs> all right, bud, get out of here. And now we are filling up with salt water right out of, it looks like it's just coming out of the wall, but that is all the way from the front yard right there. The salt water pond is fully filled up. It's a little bit foggy like it usually is. Um, I'll get the camera back when this is cleared. In just a few hours. Alrighty, it is the next day. Now you might be wondering by the title and thumbnail of this video, Paul, what the heck do you mean my fish disappeared? Well. Here's the thing, we have a bunch of beautiful clownfish inside this pond. Unfortunately, the squirrel fish, snapper fish, unfortunately he is very aggressive. I actually had a gut feeling, and so did everyone else, that this fish might have messed with the clownfish once we did get them. Well, unfortunately, we were all right. This fish has eaten a few of the clownfish and I've noticed a little decrease in numbers. I'm like, hmm. This guy right here, you're the culprit. So today's mission, I have to go into my garage, get a fishing rod of some sort, fishing line. I'm gonna pinch the barb on the hook so that it's easily just taken out of the fish, but the only way to catch this fish, the only way, you can't get in there and net it, it's just not happening, is to throw a little piece of shrimp, he'll eat it, I'll pull him out of the pond, the hook has no barb on it, so it'll just come right out of its mouth, bring him back to top shelf, and then, essentially, we should be okay. No more clownfish getting eaten by that fish, because it's gone. That is, of course, if it goes as smoothly as I'm saying. So first things first, we gotta get some fishing line and a hook with the barb pinched. Good morning, goats. <laughs> of course, Rick and Morty over here as well. Oh, I forgot to leave that gate closed. That's all right. Good thing I got a gate on the other side. So if they did get out, if Rick and Morty ever got out of that gate, they would just be hanging out in the backyard somewhere. 10 pound floral carbon. There ain't no way that he sees that right there. Oh yeah, that's a good one. All right, we got both of these now. I'm gonna pinch the barb. Barb is pinched down, and now our rig is officially ready to go. I have got my bucket full of water. Rig right here. Now, all I need to do is get some, look at this. You, the fish in the freshwater pond are sick right now. They're all chilling around. All I need to do is get some silver side which works out because the rest we don't catch our fish on, we can have a nice little feeding on all the monsters. That's an arowana. Check this out, ready? Watch this. Peacock, drop a couple more. Beast, large mouth, large mouth, large mouth. Turn around, buddy. See all those fish right there with the rest of these? I'll just, no, not you, beast. I'll just kind of shake them up and let them go everywhere so that all the catfish can eat through the window, everyone gets a bite, and that's how it's done right there. I've got my hook, got my silver side. I'm honestly so nervous right now, because I've got to make it work the first time, otherwise I, it's, it's done. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide that hook right along the silver side, see that? That hook is pretty much hidden. Oh my God, he's so fired up. This guy eats every day. All day, and you're telling me I got a hook hidden in the bait now. Well, by the way, he's been eating the last few days. I really, I really thought that was gonna work. I feel so defeated right now. The only thing I can think of is I get in there with goggles and net, and that would take me. I don't even know how long to get to catch this thing. He's gone now. He's in like a rock or something, which might be, it might be good. I think I got to get my scuba gear on. Think I'm ready to go. <laughs> Definitely planned and wanted to do this this morning. Ha <laughs> woohoo! <sighs> Think I've got the trick. If this doesn't catch him, I, I, I've got a scoop of Steve. You saw me put my goggles on, and if I gotta do it, I gotta do it. I actually thought of a plan B before I get all wet. He might eat a goldfish.
Oh my gosh. 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 Woo! Yes! Oh my gosh! He piped the goldfish! Oh, you don't understand how much time that just saved me. Oh, that just saved me so much time. Now check this out. Here is how beautiful that fish is. I don't want to get spined because he is fully venomous. See that spine right there? Look at those gills. See that? Now this doesn't harm the fish at all because with no barb, the hook just slips right out. Just like that. And now we've got the fish in the bucket without having to jump in, without having to disturb the sand, the tank, nothing. Fish is in, baby. That was worth the trip to the pet store. Goldfish did the trick. That's how you know he was eating our freaking clownfish. He's eating goldfish, he's eating my clownfish. No more of you will die back there, you hear me? I vouch for you. Look closely, see them all in the back, but they're still hiding because they're not used to being able to be able to swim around. Like they don't even hang out out here because that other fish was just bullying them and kind of pushing them back up into that corner. Now that he's gone, they'll realize that there's no danger out here really. And they'll start to hopefully swim around and actually explore. Look at our parrotfish. We got our monos and the water's obviously got that little bit of fog to it because we just did that 50% water change. It will just get clear by the day. Our clowns are back there though. I just wanted to show you guys that, uh, yeah, he didn't eat them all, but uh, definitely got to a couple of them. And I noticed that because I wasn't feeding him that much and he was getting fatter. There's only one way he gets fat if you're not feeding him so much food. He's eating little tiny shrimps and mysis and stuff, maybe some seaweed when I go to feed the parrotfish. There's no way his belly was supposed to be that fat. Alrighty, we've got our squirrel fish. Now we head over to Top Shelf and we're gonna take a look at some of the fish that we might be getting for this pond here in the next video. Alright, come on you uh, fish murderer. This guy's a, he's a kill. He's, he's going back home. Whoever gets this fish comes to Top Shelf and gets this fish. By the way, by the way we're here. Whoever gets this fish has a murderer fish. Where do you want to put this thing, Jed? I don't know, the grill? The grill? <laughs> Let's cook it. See you later, bud. All right, we're gonna surprise some fans. Is there any other questions? Guys, you need anything? No, thank you. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I was like, wait a second, we're around the corner, they got some Oh games. my god. It's gonna meet you guys. Where are you from? Michigan. 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 You're on yeah. vacation? Yeah. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Good to meet you guys. Nice what are you guys oh. getting some fish? Yeah, we just got a clownfish and a torch coral. Gotcha. Gotcha. That squirrel fish got fat. Yeah, it did. Oh, the first video that I watched. Well, that was an illusion for a second there, dude. That was an illusion. Look at that grouper. That is awesome. He's going to be shy and not want to show himself. But you can see him from above there. That right there is something we can give a shot. No, we can't. No, it'll be the same thing. It'll be round, two. round two, yeah. We got a massive shipment yesterday. You guys always get big shipments. No, yesterday, it had been a while. It had been a while. More than last time? Yeah, definitely. Really? Oh yeah, wow. There's, and the lighting's never good here because the blue, but holy smokes, every single tank is full. We gotta see where we're gonna put the soldier fish though. Where are we putting them? We put them over here. I think this 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 fish is the only fish that's ever been in one of my aquariums that is now for sale. So if any of you guys buy the soldier fish, don't buy it if you have clownfish, by the way. I've learned that. Dude, so or any fat. any small fish. Dude, he's so fat. But this right here is a soldier fish that was in the aquarium. So come get yourself it. And you've got a fish that no one else has ever had. Please, because I sat on it for about four months before Paul took it. <laughs> is that why you gave it to me? No, nah, no, nah, I wanted you to have, it's a beautiful fish, but it's definitely a struggle to sell. Well, I can tell you why it's a struggle to sell. Because it eats everything that you put it with. Yeah, that's all right. Dude, he's so pretty though. Still. He's so beautiful, yeah. There he goes. That boy is thick. That's oh. thick with two cubes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my goodness. Well, buddy, thanks for eating some of my clowns. You'll never see me again. This was uh, quite the experience, Carreras. Um, uh, uh, we learned that soldier fish don't get along with clownfish. We actually thought that he was going to stay full enough that he wasn't going to bother the clowns. Or it'd be like one, like little tiny one. Yeah. That was it. We thought the majority of the clowns weren't going to get messed with. We thought wrong. This is 
part two of what you have to do if something like this happens in a big aquarium. The only way for me to catch them too was to literally hand line. That's nuts. There was no <laughs> way to get this thing. If I went in there with a net, I almost did. I put the goggles on and everything. So it would have taken me probably a solid four to five hours just to get him out of the rock, all by myself. It would have never happened. Thankfully, he, he fell for the goldfish. He fell for the goldfish. That's all I got for you guys today though. The soldier fish is, it's here if you guys want to buy it or just come see it. Please, come buy it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we figured out the problem. We took care of the problem. And that's just something that happens in this hobby. So thank you so much for watching. Our clownfish are safe now, okay? They're good, they're good. And we're here for another reason. That's next video, so make sure you subscribe down below. Click the like button, and I'm gonna get some... Yeah, some of those for the pond in the next one. See you then. Peace.